it was the first time i was deeply like uh, interested i would say into it so like i thought it's a good thing to learn about it as we were uh, being introduced to it and there were many ideas and things how that were going through it and uh, during that time if i would say my parents wanted me to choose medical and pursue mbbs joining us on a podcast so today uh, as the title is very relevant so it's a journey of a college student to internship at databricks so hi nitya uh, welcome to the youtube channel yeah hi sarav hi youtube ga- channel like uh, myself satya shah i am from vadodara gujarat and i am currently pursuing my bachelor's in computer science engineering and i am currently interning at databricks so i would i'm really happy to be on this podcast and like excited to share my journey and how things are going to be around so let's start it great so uh, and there are a whole lot of questions that uh, we'll, we'll start with uh, how your journey began so what inspired you to get a pursue engineering and uh, how did you end up into uh, a private college or a college uh, that you studied yeah so like uh, throwing a light on my education i will say that uh, i have completed my schooling up till class 12th from vadodara itself it's a city in gujarat actually so post that like uh, i was in my 8th standard or something that's where i got introduced to computer subject so like that was the first time i was deeply like uh, interested i would say into it so like i thought it's a good thing to learn about it as we were uh, being introduced to it and there were many ideas and things how that were going through it and uh, during that time if i would say my parents wanted me to choose medical and pursue mbbs but parallelly if i was thinking that i was not that much interested into biology i will say so i thought that it's a good way to start my journey post 10th to get into good engineering college post my je mains and if i would like to sum up there uh, actually i was uh, having my cousin who was uh, graduated from iit rurki in computer science so like he was a guiding light to me i will say so i thought that it's a good thing to get into computer science and probably in jp pursue engineering and how things are around it so like uh, post my 12th i gave je mains and like uh, i didn't score that well in my 12th boards actually so like i thought i will now pursue my computer science uh, from like uh, itr bhubneshwar so like that's how i landed into the college particularly wow great so uh, nitya you like throughout your college so right from the first year to finally that you are and currently so you must have faced a numerous problem uh, not only on the technical side while you're learning something or uh, coping up to a totally new place so could you just throw some light upon what challenges did you face and how did you overcome it yeah yeah sure so like as i told you in earlier like i was a uh, little bit introvert throughout my school and was little on to studio side uh, like i was not much uh, active in extra curricular activities so when i got into college i had one thing in mind that this is a place where i could uh, begin my identity from nowhere as like people here are don't know are not knowing me right so that's when i strike that uh, into first year of my college itself i was like excited to get into everything whatsoever it was i was eager to try like I, I, even if i didn't know i was eager to try that even if i don't go well in it i will learn at least by end of the day into it so like uh, i first personality i tried to change myself like i didn't wanted to again being end up at introvert side through my poor years of college so that was one and post that there were so many things that were about to learn into a new city new college new people around so that was a new challenge around that i cope up with but unfortunately like uh, in our second semester covid stuck up and like uh, we got into back to our uh, uh, back to zero i will say like uh, i i would conclude that uh, the journey was very much exciting because in the second year and third year we were stuck into the covid and when we came to like uh, the seventh semester of the college placements were being started and we were being asked to get into the physical interviews and things around that so it was very exciting i will say wow great so uh, nitya like now coming to the main call of the hour so my area of interest so uh, how did you uh, got or came across the opportunity at, uh, of internship at databricks and uh, what was the entire application all throughout yeah sure i would uh, like to know that uh, i would like to say that uh, the opportunity was being brought up by our training and placement cell of the college itself like they told that uh, there are a few positions being open at databricks for like spark and platform team and like they are uh, eager to hire people from our college so like uh, when i got a mail i was like a uh, bit excited to know that the house the company like what's it wo- it's working on and after going through it i thought that it's a good opportunity like to start my journey over so after the shortlisting of the resume we started off with an online assessment actually it was like of uh, 90 minutes 
uh, there were some technical questions of around uh, i guess 40 technical questions and there were a, one coding round was there and post that uh, when uh, after shortlisting from the online assessment there were two technical rounds uh, one was being conducted by atsc databricks and another one was by lead tsc so like i would say both the technical rounds were basic they were more comprised of knowing the technical knowledge as well as the problem solving skills and how we are approaching a particular problem when we are thrown at it and post that there was a hiring manager interview where it was more basically a uh, technical and managerial round i will say where which was uh, been conducted by my manager and uh, the director of the platform team so like post that i got like uh, mm -hmm. to know from the hr that i have been through the process and like uh, i have been selected so it was a quite smooth process i will say but yes it demanded a little things around to be my best so uh, nitya uh, my next question would be like uh, when you were uh, applying or you were inter interviewing in the entire process throughout so uh, what skills uh, with a major highlight upon your resume uh, that made you stand up out from the other resumes uh, that were or the other applicants who were applying for the same role so and uh, like how did you develop those skills over the period of time yeah so like if i conclude my journey from both the technical rounds i will say that both of the interviewers uh, were looking for proper problem solving skills how you more specifically approach a problem they didn't wanted actually they didn't want that this guy should be able to solve it or not they just wanted to know the thinking ability i will say so like uh, i did develop some problem solving skills i will say in my third year actually like i was going through some lead code solutions problems every day i will say that's where i guess i learned how to build a consistency i will say because anybody could solve lead any problem it is for a week or something but if one is not able to continue it for a month two month for a longer period of time i guess then it's like uh, just getting back to the whole cycle it's not good actually so i will say that was a major part of it and the another important thing i will say is the ability to convey your problem to others your solution to others because i since it's been my fourth month in the internship i have observed this thing that uh we are able to solve the problems but when you are working in a team it's much more important that how you convey your solution to others how are you able to answer it to customer how are you able to speak up and explain it to the other person or the lead or the team members so it's quite important then on the other side i did had a good troubleshooting skills where i was able to get onto the basics of how things were not working i was able to fix it like that and they were eager to like know how things are going to work so like these were the skills which landed up i will say like help me to get through the process wow amazing amazing insights so uh, nitya you already told us that uh, you have an experience of nearly 4 months at data, interning at, as a trading engineer at databricks right so uh, you must have learned a whole lot of skills and uh, a very important question or a very interesting question for me as of now is uh, can you give us an insight about your day at uh, databricks and what is your entire experience all throughout uh, what are the major skills or learnings that you have at the end of the four months yeah yeah sure like uh, when we began our uh, internship at databricks like we were upbeing uh, we were went through we were going through like a couple of uh, months training actually which was being conducted by a trainer and like uh, it was a really great experience we learned a lot of things like we uh, after learning whatever concepts we were uh, actually being uh, doing hands on on to the same so like we are getting to know how architecture is going to work and how we are going to apply into our uh, cases and how things are going to work on it so it was a really good experience apart from that uh, we developed very like uh, we learned a lot about various clouds like azure aws gcp and uh, onto that uh, uh, like uh, going through my day data bricks and uh, like it's like uh, pretty much uh, how things are going to work out smoothly into the way when i start my day it's like uh, going through a couple of things which were being asked to do and like uh, by exploring onto the same i get to know that there are many things which could be used onto the same side so that's where we get to know when we connect to seniors when we connect to people around we get to know that how much more things are going to be into the deeper dive so probably that's where the day starts and uh, going through it it's a very smooth day and there are a lot of people aspiring who help us through the interns actually they are being treated like very much uh, in a specific way like we do get a lot of glimpses okay. how things are going to work around yeah okay so you get a get an opportunity to work in real world projects as well apart from the learning that you get and uh, the best thing yes yes we even get to uh, we even get to interact with whoever the person is in office like uh, there's a manager there's a director we get to interact not only on data bricks on anything which we are around so like when an intern when a college student is going out into corporate there are a lot of things in his mind right not only into technical side there are a lot of things whatsoever side it is so like we get to interact with them on whatever side it is and we are at the end of the day happy enough to get satisfied with whatever we have been doing all the day so like it makes a good sense on that Wow, great. 
so uh, this opens a wide variety of opportunity for you to learn indeed so uh, my next question would be Nithya, uh, like as we all know that uh, databricks has many cloud based offerings many services that have been built many solutions are available uh, by databricks so could you tell us about some of the products of the uh, databricks that you have been working upon or you know about and uh, also like uh, about the various different data warehouse data lake solutions that databricks has yeah, sure. So like uh, Databricks has been into the show for like many years now. So it's basically a analytics platform where uh, the various products and organizations could run their large set of data more effectively. And that's where our products comes into sight. Like I've been working on the Databricks workspace where it's a collaborative platform for a data scientist, data engineer, or a data science person who is much more eager to interact uh, the workspace for users to build, manage, and deploy data pipelines. So that's where it comes into hand. And I've been working on like a uh, the Databricks ML flow where we are working on an ML project uh, onto the making of the model where uh, the machine learning provides tracking of various experiments, packaging, and uh, the deployment of models to various platforms, whoever the company on the other side it is. So like coming to a second question, like the difference between Spark and platform, I will say that uh, Spark is an open source distributing computing framework actually which uh, helps to interface the programming side as well as the uh, different languages. Either it is a Python, Scala, Java, or R. Whereas on the other side, okay. the platform is like a, the Spark environment, where the major tools for the data analytics are being handled on a very smoothly side. So in summary, Spark is a computing engine that allows users or the whoever the client is it to maintain the large set of data. Whereas on to the other side, I did got you know the platform thing. So yeah. Got it. So you're in a Spark team or a platform team? No, no, I'm in a platform team. Like uh, after completion of uh, the training, we are currently immersed into the teams and we are solving cases and how things are going to work. So like it's been one month around and it's been a great experience as of now. Okay. Wow. So uh, next question would be like Nitya, uh, like even our viewers will also be very uh, interested to know about this. So uh, according to you, what advice would you give to students uh, who are preparing in the third year or maybe second year and uh, aspiring to work in, uh, work in company in top tier product based companies like Databricks? So uh, could you just give some advice? Yeah, sure. So like I would like to start from where I was in my third year. I was not that clear, actually. But when our placement season was about to start, I did got to know some insights from my like uh, cousins and all who were working around. So I got to know that being consistent in this field is very much important. Like you can't uh, solve a problem for a week or something and like uh, there's a gap or something around. And again, you are getting onto it. It's like uh, it should not be that if you are solving a problem, you should do it every day, irrespective of either of the platform. It is it is either uh, geeks for geeks or uh, code chef or whatever it is. It doesn't matter. But problem solving skill, you need to develop it. Then the second thing I will say is being consistent over it then how you are able to communicate it to other people communication skills do matter in corporates like uh, i would say that uh, since yeah 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 it's very much much important like uh, onto the other side we all know that uh, computer science is a very dynamic field like what we are learning currently will not be outdated in some five to six to eight years so the learning ability it's very important like uh, so someone who is preparing for placements i will just say that be consistent Pro develop some proper problem solving skills and just have a good attitude at how things are going to work and that's all it is and it will be really beneficial at the end of the day got it so uh, you also mentioned about how technologies are changing in leaps and bounds so but there's a very important uh, like aspect of a software engineer to upgrade himself to upscale himself on a regular uh, time intervals so how as a young engineer do you keep yourself uh, updated in whatever technology you're working and you grow as in uh, with time so could you just give some uh, like advice upon that yeah that's for it is like uh, the thing is if you're comfortable at a place or something like a whatever text text that you are learning it would be like you are completely into it but at the same time you need to keep exploring different things because as you told that uh, it's uh, the, like a, seriously it's like a very dynamic times are around like if you are not keeping yourself updated maybe in a couple of years you will be like uh, even you know that right so like at the end of the day i just try to keep myself uh, updated with some articles some like uh, some platforms that are there where you could get a lot of knowledge on the how things are uh, about to work how whatever changes are being making around so from the glimpses of that i will say that i do get uh, like uh, light on how uh, apart from my work i'm doing things around so yeah Great, great. So, so Nitya, uh, my next question would be like, uh, you told that in your third year, you were not very much clear about uh, what are you going to do or which company probably you would be placed into. So uh, like how after your internship of four months uh, has influenced your career goals or uh, how your, how is the transformation being made from your third year to the current uh, Nitya that you are? So, and what are your future, future plans upon the scene? Yeah. So, so 
yeah yeah sure so like uh, if i see myself one year back it was like uh, it was a blurry things around actually previous year during this start we our placements were about to start so like there were a lot of things there were a lot of companies coming the different roles uh, how things are going to work so when we come to it i will say that been a year uh, past one year has been really really on to different side but I, i got to learn a lot of things actually the whole placement season has actually changed my perspective i will say actually how things are going to work is much more important than like uh, how you take it okay so like uh, if i consider myself my previous four months at data breaks it were like i i could like uh, it has been changed from a college student to getting into corporate and starting out my journey it was into different aspect like uh, currently a uh, still couple of months are left about for the internship and what i'm learning from people around how things are going to work like it's uh, ending up onto the different side and talking about my future couple of years like i will eager to learn more technical stacks and how things are going to like uh, onto the specific side of the area and when you work with a team you get to know a lot of things around so yeah wow and the really a great insightful session that i had so and even uh, i'm pretty much sure our viewers have got a great learning content entirely so it was great uh, meeting you and it's uh, really um, uh, thankful for coming to the podcast giving your time and valuable uh, experience that you have gained all throughout your internship great thank you so much Yeah. Yes. Same here. It was a really good experience to share. So it was my first podcast with like you, and like I've been knowing you from past times. So like it was a great time to throw up the journey and like uh, to share how things were around onto it. So yeah. <laughs>